One of Doug Ford's billionaire buddies is asking the court to prevent and delay an interview with the Auditor General. So remember how Doug Ford's buddies bought a bunch of land that was in the green belt for a few million dollars and then Doug Ford took it out of the green belt and then it was worth tons of millions of dollars. Well now the Auditor General is looking into that and one of the richest people in our country is saying, well I don't have any information about that. Because the Auditor General is looking into the almost 3,000 hectares from 15 different areas of the green belt and Silvio de Gaspers who owned tons of land in that area is like, well what would I know about that? Even though he hired former PC staff and he's been lobbying the government and tons of his specific properties were in the area removed from the green belt he's being asked to submit an examination under oath and bring any relevant records correspondence notes and documents and the dude is straight up just like yeah i have none of the information you're asking me about and he is also claiming that the auditor general does not have the jurisdiction to conduct an audit the head auditor of our province doesn't have the jurisdiction to do an audit in our province? He's claiming that it is an abuse of power. Hot calling the kettle black much? And when that type of authority is challenged, the auditor general must prove it has jurisdiction to conduct the audit in the first place. But considering that it's the goddamn green belt, I think they'll have no problem proving that. Because the audit is justified and Silvio de Gasparis is at the center of the information that's needed. But here we are in Doug Ford's Ontario where he's able to enrich his billionaire buddies further and then they're able to turn around and say, oh, you can't investigate me. That's an abuse of power. Absolutely ridiculous.